as I said, so I want to introduce my, our activity from J in Japan, develop the Japanese community. And uh, if you are from the develop uh, in the, uh, uh, Indonesia or any other develop people, or uh, so you are from the Ubuntu, uh, I want to share the what is the difference and uh, what we are doing something together. First of all, so let me introduce myself. My name is Narushiko Ogasawara. Narushiko is quite low. My, my first, name, first, first name is Narushiko. So call me Narushiko, but a uh, little bit wrong. So call me Naru. Naru is shorter than <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'm a desktop open source enthusiast from Japan. Uh, mainly, that I love LibreOffice and Ubuntu. Uh, I love also run Ubuntu. And uh, I love about printing. Uh, printing te technology is quite interesting to me. And uh, I'm a former LibreOffice Japanese member and former uh, Japan uh, Document Foundation member. Uh, so, someone already mentioned about uh, we have a different speaker, uh, Shinji Enoki, uh, originally, but uh, he had uh, COVID-19, so he couldn't come here. So instead of him, so I can this, I will describe the, the, this theme. So here is my agenda. So first of all, I want to introduce Japanese NLP and Japanese community. And, uh, introduce our activity and conclusions. So the, and if I have a time, uh, I will open discussion. But uh, maybe, so we need to take a lunch. <laughs> so anyway, so the National NLP, uh, what is NLP? NLP stands for the Native Language Project. Native Language Project is the uh, same as uh, Ubuntu local, local community. Uh, develop Japanese team is the Japanese native language project uh, concept by TDF members. You know TDF? <coughs> TDF is the home of the document, uh, home of the Libre Office, that, the document foundation. And the uh, core of the Japanese community. So, so what up to any Japanese community activities? But uh, this is a weak border uh, organization. So, here is the Japanese, entire Japanese Libre Office Committee. And uh, so, Libre Office Japanese team backed up uh, in activities, but uh, no uh, strong uh, cover up. I mean, the less uh, secret, uh, many few secrets, or uh, something. Everything is open for the, any other people. Uh, like a weekly meeting or something. So everyone can join the weekly meeting. <laughs> so uh, here is our main activities. Uh, one is the ask and the translation or localization. And the documentation and the extensions and the social uh, networks and the events. First of all, I want to introduce ASK. ASK is a Libre Office Officer Q&A site. www.http.asklibreoffice.org. Uh, uh, we can use the uh, ASK uh, from... Oh. Sorry for your Japanese information. Uh, use the interface, but uh, you can say the on online. Question in online. This is us. Oh, sorry. <coughs> so, as a result, very good, great entrance of any community activities. This is the quite simple. Just question, someone question, 
post of question, someone may answer, or someone may advise, some advice, or something like that. Is it the focus very so uh, focus very clear and easy to understand? So this is a very fast community activity of the at least the Japanese uh, environment. Uh, question is uh, one or two per week, and the comments, uh, I mean, the, sometimes a co just a comment, and sometimes the answer is uh, two or three per week. Um, it seems uh, not, it's not very active, but the uh, total number of uh, uh, questions is uh, 682 topics. So this is the uh, eight. Uh, position of the all languages. Uh, some topics become Babuja ticket because, for example, the, this is the, I have uh, this kind of, the, I hit the, some kind of the problem. This is a bug or intentional behavior or something. This is a question. So, uh, some people reproduce it. And, uh, oh, this is a bug. We should file it bug to Bagzilla. So this kind of the so chatting is with in the in the Japanese local our local language. So uh, it, it, it is uh, some kind of the local QA. I mean uh, so uh, discussion in local language and uh, finally uh, put submit bugs to the bugzilla uh, in the global way. And uh, translation. Uh, or localization. Uh, localization, so we localize uh, maybe user interface and help. And uh, user, interface help, uh, user interface translation ratio is 93%. This is uh, quite less than uh, we expected. So this, with this translation ratio, uh, you may find uh, untranslated terms in the user usage. So if uh, my, our uh, threshold is uh, 96 or 97 percent, if 90, over the 97 percent, it is hard to find the uh, untranslated word in usual usage. So uh, here uh, in Japan, so localization is a core of the uh, such kind of office, kind of the liberal office. Uh, I mean, the end user ap application is a, so for the end user application, uh, Japanese pr uh, prefer to use the uh, Japanese language. So uh, localization is the key of the success. So I, we want to accept more and more. <laughs> and uh, now only four active suggestions and reviewers. It's a very small, small number. <laughs> <laughs> How to increase them? <laughs> reviewing and reviewing is sometimes local because so unknown terms used are difficult to review. <laughs> and uh, more communication is needed because so uh, some ones uh, find a new uh, uh, suggested a new word, but uh, we don't know where is used for. So. We can communicate with each other. So, lots of communication is needed. So, we do it the online event, discuss later. And help, mm. Mm. very bad, uh, only 50%. It is a uh, remains of the Sun Microsystems era. <laughs> no activities at this time and uh, the liberal office era. <laughs> so volume is too enormous to translate now. It's hard to get motivated <laughs> in this situation. <laughs> Maybe so we keep the, them with money or something. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a Japanese blog exists as a subdomain of the official TDF blog. This is mainly content uh, translation of the Japanese official blog, mainly released, uh, released 
new, these news, these announcements. For example, we offer the level of 7.6.2. This is includes the uh, security vulnerability is fixed. So you, you have to upgrade <laughs> now or something. <laughs> Even with the machine translation, we have uh, already have a machine translation power, but uh, no one reads the English articles uh, with the machine translation. So uh, uh, there are people who don't read the English, at least in Japan. Uh, so maybe it, uh, make, it makes a lot of sense to uh, make announcement in Japanese. And the Japanese original content is also needed, but uh, not enough manpower. So <laughs> nowadays, very few people uh, update uh, the blog. And the documentation. Wiki translation. Uh, we have a wiki, a PDF wiki, uh, mainly uh, mm -hmm. updates uh, several issues, for example, the QA or development and design or something, something, something. A lot of communication, uh, community work should, uh, is described in the wiki. But uh, so our main activity is uh, release note. Release note is in the maintain, maintained in the wiki. So, and the uh, wiki translation is a great thanks to uh, thanks of <coughs> the translation public uh, in, in media wiki. Uh, is installed. Uh, so this is uh, awesome. For example, this is the English part and here is the Japanese part. We can uh, edit the one by one. This is the power of the translation plugin. If you use the media wiki, yeah. uh, we must uh, <laughs> you must install this. And uh, so Japanese original wiki is currently not active, unfortunately. And the documentation, <coughs> you already see the in the LibreOffice booth, very big book. <laughs> Another by <bible. laughs> <laughs> LibreOffice user guide. We uh, already translate the LibreOffice user guide into English, uh, into Japanese, into from English to Japanese. Uh, so, we use the machine translation service via Omega T. Omega T is a translation uh, help service, uh, help uh, application. Uh, but, uh, so, someone wonders how about the uh, license? Machine translation sometimes hit the license problem. Uh, it cannot use a uh, official, uh, so, sorry, a commercial product or something. Uh, maybe so Google says that, or so sometimes um, very ambiguous. We cannot uh, uh, understand uh, which user prefer. But uh, so luckily, so Japanese Research Institute NICT offers a freely active machine translation service for open source. So open source translation. So and uh, machine translation results are not uh, checked by humans at, the, at least this time. So quality is average or uh, less than average. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we so in English English version. So we also have a uh, web. A new version of the LibreOffice uh, guide. So we can do it with our Japanese one. So we need to investigate. And uh, extension. It is the serial extension, LibreOffice extension. And uh, one of them was developed for public city at uh, online event. Not for the, uh, don't, not by the original author, but by the different uh, person. So uh, this is, is a, I fit here. This is a great community work. Yeah. 
And the social network. We have uh, X over Twitter, I still say Twitter, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is uh, around 3,000 followers and uh, mostly active uh, social network here in Japan. Uh, in Japan. So, uh, maybe it's an answer in Japanese, the post or the official message or something. And uh, Facebook. We also have a Facebook page. This is the 1625 followers and mainly listeners in Japan. Or some uh, uh, commercialize some event or something. And uh, Telegram. We have very few follow members uh, in Telegram group, but uh, this is a small group for those who want to be more involved in community. So this is a small group. And YouTube, we have YouTube group, and uh, we have uh, 643 followers, and uh, this will be a uh, so recording of the event and uh, how to move it, uh, so, some how to move it, etc. And uh, we have no Instagram or TikTok <laughs> because we are not young. <laughs> 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 okay, let me introduce the events. We have a Hackfest event, Hackfest Online. Uh, Hackfest Online is uh, weekly online event to maintain motivation during the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> so, Hackfest is a seems a geeky word, but uh, so our uh, main the point is uh, uh, doing something together. <laughs> Not only the hack develops itself, but also the translation or uh, local QA or something, something. So interaction among community members is very important because so it's better to be able to see faces even through the camera. <laughs> of course, in-person event is uh, okay, but uh, for the pandemic, it's very really hard to, to do that. So uh, online is very important. And uh, this is an opportunity to get rid of the stroke and work on something about the office. <laughs> <laughs> we are very stroke and so lazy. <laughs> so this kind of the opportunity is very important. <laughs> and uh, 1.5 uh, hours it is uh, Saturday. And uh, many check the new question in ask, and if they spend uh, their ex extra time uh, translation about the check or something, something. Uh, not to hack the liberal office. Sorry. <laughs> 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 and uh, user interface translation is being discussed here, as I mentioned before. And uh, it, keeps, uh, it helps to keep us motivated as, as we aim to do. And uh, online study meetup. Uh, we have an online study meetup. Uh, this is a kind of the uh, online seminar. Uh, each three or four months. Originally, uh, offline event meetup that was held in Kansai area uh, prior to COVID-19, but uh, has become converted to the online. So, to be honest, this is uh, so very hard because so talking online event is a little bit less motivated than online, offline. <laughs> <laughs> so we cannot attract many people and uh, speakers. <laughs> so, but uh, some great uh, content has this. Uh, many people can gather, but uh, it is less than the offline version. 
And uh, LibreOffice Kaigi. LibreOffice Kaigi is a annual conference of LibreOffice uh, in Japan. Uh, Kaigi is uh, from the word Kaigi uh, in Japanese. Uh, it means conference. So some of you may know the Ruby Kaigi. Ruby Kaigi is uh, of also the, the yearly conference of the uh, Ruby language, Ruby programming language. We take over the, the name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it means a uh, conference by the Japanese review office users for Japanese review office users. And the uh, purpose of this event is to socialize and shape, uh, share knowledge. So pre COVID 19, we did it on, on, offline. So here is the uh, 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 Franklin Wang, so you may know <laughs> he is in the keynote. <laughs> uh, we sometimes invite uh, 40 speakers and uh, lots of people gather. This is a uh, quite good era. Anyway, during the pandemic, we moved to online. Uh, it's convenient, but less fun because no party. <laughs> <laughs> I personally want to get back offline, but uh, it's a lack of human resource, so we cannot. We are far from the back to the offline. Okay. And the open source conference. Open source conference is the Japanese most active open source event series, known as OSC. Uh, Japanese community, uh, uh, community of people brought uh, together to, uh, to, uh, uh, brought together for by technical curiosity focusing on the open source. Uh, Ten or more per years uh, each region in Japan uh, before pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, uh, uh, high recordings with the seminar online and the booth offline. And the smaller events, for example, the local Japanese rural area event is uh, not gathered so many people. So it's back to the uh, full of face-to-face uh, uh, -face meeting. This is the uh, booth and uh, other booth. Conclusion. Uh, even in the COVID-19 uh, session of COVID-19, we have continued to work. But uh, some activities like health translation, Japanese wiki, uh, can't do well at the moment. Uh, we need to, uh, new blood, but uh, we are still working out uh, how to correct it. Uh, I guess we have a lot of to learn to another Asian community like Indonesia and uh, Taiwan or any other place <laughs> to do that. Uh, personal opinion, offline event is very needed. <laughs> okay, and Thank you for the talk. And uh, so I uh, stated, I have to state the important things. Uh, during the pandemic, I had burned out and uh, I left the liberal office community, Japanese community uh, from Hawaii. But uh, I still have a lot of friends, which include the Shinji Enoki, uh, original speaker of the, this event. And uh, he, I know he is working well uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic. So I want to introduce the, his work, and not only the, his work, but also the, our committee's work. So I hope this uh, is the, a good uh, understanding for you. Thank you.